This is the spectacular Mona Lisa, that super famous painting currently valued at $870 million USD. And this is acrylic paint from your local dollar store, currently valued at $1.50. We're gonna try to recreate Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece using the cheapest acrylic available in the market. And I guess the premise of all of this is to show you budding creators at home that you really don't need expensive materials to create, well, expensive material. Let's get it. Hi, welcome. My name is Bertie and I like to draw. But today I'm here to show you guys that you really don't need the most expensive of art tools, art supplies to make masterpieces. Now wait guys, before you skip to the final product because I know you're all tempted, this is an educational video. It's meant to teach you guys about the tools that I use, maybe go into detail about some art techniques and also possibly a little bit of art history as well. Just warning you. But yeah, appreciate you guys for being here as always. Let's get to painting. I wanna get our painting as close to the original as possible. What was the size of the Mona Lisa? So the dimensions of the Mona Lisa were about 77 centimeters by 53 centimeters. I don't actually know what that is converted to inches, but give me one second. And after learning that the Mona Lisa was about 30 by 20 inches in canvas size, the little boy ran off to the dollar store to grab his supplies. Wow, that actually rhymed. Dollar store montage begin. by 30. Perfect. Yeah, you we got our art supplies and I ended up getting two canvases just in case. Let's get ourselves set up for the long haul. Alright guys, we got our cognitive enhancer, anime for background noise, just so I don't feel lonely. Other than that, we don't actually have an easel, but we have a spare table and a suitcase. See so guys, it pays to be resourceful. So it really doesn't matter what kind of pencil you use for this part, as long as you can see the marks clearly. We're just starting off with a rough sketch. Grab our Mona Lisa reference. So once you got your Mona Lisa sketch roughly drawn out, we actually used that grid method. I broke it down into quadrants and tried to get it as close to the proportions as the real Mona Lisa. For what it is, man, this portrait size canvas that we got is perfect size. Now we can actually get to the painting. But for this part, we're gonna do what oil painters usually do. I mean, in general, seasoned painters do this as well, where they start their base layer with either a gray or an earthy tone. Uh, oil painters tend to choose brown colors, I don't know why, but we're gonna mimic their technique and we're gonna do it for our Mona Lisa painting. Now since acrylic is insanely thick, we're gonna dilute it with water. We are just gonna start forming basic rough shapes of our Mona Lisa painting using the diluted brown. Let's go. This is where our Bob Ross comes out. painting Mona Lisa again? Oh yeah, showing you guys what you can do with what little resources you may or may not have. We've only been at it for like 30 minutes, believe it or not. This is actually starting to turn out. Like we can leave it like that. People would be like, yo, that's its own art style. But here at Birdie's Garage, wait, no, this is a different channel. Here at Birdie's Art Studio, we aim to impress and over deliver. So we've been staring at this lady's face for quite some time now and it got me to thinking, who even is the Mona Lisa? And why is she so gosh darn popular? Google, also known as La Gioconda or La Gioconda. 
Conde. Italian pronunciation. I don't know. Painting created by the famous Leonardo DiCaprio. Da Vinci. Sometime between 1503 and 1519. That was a long time ago. Again, guys, this is as per Google. Also known as Lisa Gerardini. I had to. She was an Italian noblewoman and member of the Gerardini family of Florence. Her portrait was commissioned by her husband and painted during the Italian Renaissance. So I guess she was just some random rich lady. Leonardo DiCaprio. Da Vinci used oil on poplar panel. So the Mona Lisa was pretty much painted on a piece of bark. Life is a lie. Interesting. Tell me what you do on a Sunday I I'm tired of all these Friday nights. And if we're through, I'll go my way. I I'd like it if you stay Hawaii. <laughs> What is that? Shite. Painting visits is hard. And the thing about painting too is like, <sighs> don't want to overwork a certain area or else it ends up looking completely different and sometimes worse. Now that I think about it, the only other time that I've ever drawn Mona Lisa, kind of, was during a drunk 3 a.m. trip to Denny's. You've all been there. After I devoured that lumberjack slime, I thought it was a good idea to arrange whatever ketchup I had left on my plate in the likeness of the painting for being drunk at 4 a.m. in the morning didn't turn out that bad. I'm probably gonna step away from this because it looks weird. <laughs> I've overworked it and now I have to step away from it a little bit. Plus I'm getting hungry so I'm gonna order some pizza and we'll see you guys in a little bit here. How long did Leonardo take to finish? Well actually it was a portrait. It's not like she sat there for two days. But he was using oil paints. Did she? Now, have you ever seen a burger at a pizza place? This is Pizza 73's version of the chicken sandwich. Okay, we're back guys. We're gonna try and tackle this face again. We're still working with white and brown. Oh fudge, forgot to put this in the water. I'm just gonna keep working away guys. Alright friends, we're getting somewhere. I think though, it is time for us to add a little bit of color to this painting. I think once we start adding the shadows and the darker colors, it'll be easier for us to really form her face to look exactly like the Mona Lisa. Because right now it's, yeah, I mean it looks okay, it looks close, it's getting there, but I want it to be Exactly. Like imagine we are going to the Louvre to steal the Mona Lisa and we needed a replica painting to replace it. This will be that painting. Too many nights locked up in this cell Told me your love is good But it burned like hell And I see through an open eye And now I'm just adding yellow wash over the entire painting. Um, I guess there are different methods. You can use solvent to make it like the same viscosity as oil. But again, I'm showing you guys what's possible with little tools. So we're trying to get away with what we can. So only tools from the dollar store. What the heck? Hi. <laughs> All right, let's just finish this up. I'm excited to add the darker colors, but it looks like yellow mixed with brown mixed with black. Yeah, and a little tinge of Gray. I'm gonna try to avoid using grays at all just because I don't want this to look muddy even though I mean that's what it looks like but I will add a little bit more color than the actual Mona Lisa itself so far hey okay let me go give my dog some attention hey hey there you go she's a Mona Lisa everyone's not enough to see her. she's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah Well, all right, 
right, guys. I've been up for about 15 hours now, so that means this painting took roughly 15 hours. No, I lied. I took a little nap in between. But the moment you've all been waiting for, guys, epic reveal. You ready for this? Whew. Spent a lot of time on the detail, guys. What do you think? <laughs> Why'd I draw her with a spear? Okay, guys, the real epic reveal. Let's get it. Too many nights locked up in this cell Told me your love is good But it burned like hell Drowning in the sounds of you, baby Haven't been feeling myself lately Looting these walls that contain me Goodbye to the petals of the day, say Burn more or less, yeah You're not as perfect as I thought you were Keep your eyes locked on me Will I escape your binding veil? Yeah, you're the end and that feels me That's pretty damn close let me know in the comments below, guys, does this belong in the Louvre Museum? Or does it look like something you can find in the dollar store? My lady deserves to be on a pedestal. Now remember, guys, if there's anything to take away from this video, it's that plagiarism is bad, but it can procure the greatest of inspirations most of the time. I just wouldn't blatantly steal someone else's art for negative purposes, aligning to whatever morals you guys have. It's good to inspire from other people's work because by doing so inevitably, you'll find your own personal style. So I guess in that sense, copying is good. I'm telling you guys, you really don't need all that much to create cool things. You just need these. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, go out and create stuff. She's Peace. A Mona Lisa. <sighs> okay, um, well, guys, we're supposed to start off with a sketch, but I think this guy wants some attention, so. Um, oh, no, he's good right there. Okay, grab our pencil.